Question, who exactly is Rhino? Sure, we're your friends here on YouTube with more than six million subscribers. Thank you. And a rather impressive collection of music videos from some of the greatest recording artists of all time. But did you know that the origins of Rhino Records can be traced all the way back to 1973 and a very cool indie record store in a little college town in Southern California? Have we got a story for you. I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is the Rhino Report. We love a good origin story. From Peter Parker being bitten by a radioactive spider to become Spider-Man, to the intergalactic plot twists that, spoiler alert, turn Anakin Skywalker into Darth Vader, a strong origin story can go a very long way. Today, we're looking back at the humble beginnings and origin story of our very own Rhino Records. Who are we and why are we here? In 1973, Richard Foos opened the Rhino Records store in Westwood and hired Harold Bronson to manage it. Later, they became partners in the label. The iconic store quickly became a legendary music destination, famous for helping hone the American indie aesthetic. In 1978, Rhino Records added a new job title to its resume as a record label and distributor. The very first release on the label was by an artist by the name of Wildman Fisher. The song? Go to Rhino Records. <laughs> Why not? An appropriately wild a cappella recording urging music fans to, what else? Go to Rhino Records on Westwood Boulevard. The label's focus was on fun and irreverent novelty records that were often out of print and hard to find. Among them, releases from Richard Pryor, Spike Jones, and The Turtles. Heading into the 1980s, Rhino's illustrated catalogs, which looked in every way like a comic book, showcased the label's vast and growing roster of releases, including records by The Runaways, Rodney Dangerfield, Frank Zappa, and of course, The Monkees. Charging into the 1990s, Rhino had grown into a full-blown entertainment company, moving into the world of home video. With VHS <laughs> and eventually DVD releases of The Monkees TV Show. Everybody loves The Monkees TV Show. They had Curtis Mayfield concerts and the legendary Just Can't Get Enough, new wave hits of the 1980s video compilations. The Rhino Records store in Westwood was still going strong at this time, which is the 1990s, hosting live performances from such musical luminaries as Wilco, Sublime, Weezer, Soundgarden, and even Nirvana. In 1992, Rhino entered into a partnership with the legendary Atlantic Records, releasing Otis Redding Records, Aretha Franklin, and John Coltrane releases. In 1998, Rhino teamed up with Warner, giving the label the green light to handle reissues from an incredible roster of artists and music, including Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac, the Ramones, The Doors, The Grateful Dead, The Cars, and so many more. Rhino has continued to grow into the 2000s, including bringing esteemed label Parlophone into the fold in 2013. We're talking Blur, Daft Punk people, huge, huge records. In celebration of Rhino Records' 45th anniversary, we are proud to announce Quadio. For more about Quadio, we brought in the quad father himself, Steve Wooler from Rhino A&R. Take it away, Steve. Hey, everybody. Steve Wooler here from Rhino. I want to talk about these new Quadio titles coming out. First off, we got uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid, the 1970 album. 
These all sound phenomenal. These are all, of course, transferred from the original half-inch four-track master, which probably hasn't seen the light of day since 1975. Next up, we've got Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. Big 1973 album. Jay Giles Band. Sure, must have got lost. I would say so. And last but not least, of course, we have uh, Jefferson Starship. So there they are. $24.98 a piece. It's going to be a bundle price, too. Quadio is simply quadraphonic audio, shortened. It's portmanteau. It's four-channel audio that used to be available in the mid-70s. So if you have a surround system at home, and you've got a 5.1 system, this will come out of four of those five speakers. One in every corner. Available from rhino.com. Available today. All right, Scott, take it away. Thanks, Steve. That was awesome and informative. What do you want to hear on Quadio? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and dive into other episodes right here. Plus, don't miss out on the Rhino store by clicking below.